I recently moderated a forum hosted by Choose New Jersey on a new federal initiative called Opportunity Zones. Now, this is a program that looks to spur economic investment in communities throughout the country. Now, many of those communities are, in fact, right here in New Jersey. At the forum, I spoke to elected officials, business leaders, and others about Opportunity Zones and why they matter in New Jersey and, of course, across the country. Here now are those interviews. This forum, as engaging as it is dealing with real life issues, uh, the part of the strategic direction of Choose New Jersey? Absolutely. Choose New Jersey is going to start to evolve. It is an, a wonderful organization, has the ability to convene some of the best folks and some of the folks that will actually end up to be able to articulate what the economy needs and, and be a liaison to the community. Thanks for this thank community. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, you've been involved in economic development in the city even before, well before you were mayor. What do these opportunity zones potentially mean to the redevelopment of a city like Newark? Well, it's a, an infusion of investment in areas that have been neglected for at least five decades or more in this city. Uh, there, you know, helps us, uh, you know, expedite the kind of development that's already happening, but also push some real development in parts of the community that need it so desperately. And I don't think if we, if this legislation didn't exist, we would be able to have this kind of investment opportunity here. Um, Financial institutions, other folks are not investing in neighborhoods that need it the most. It's just not happening. This is a, a way to incentivize them to get that done. Uh, this is a first step. And so uh, we are eager to see what happens out of this. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yep. Frank Giantamasi knows the city of Newark very well. We're at the Choose New Jersey Forum with Senator Booker. Governor Murphy talking about, quote unquote, opportunity zones. This project could mean a lot. You know a lot about redevelopment. Critical, critical to towns like Newark. Uh, this is probably the single best thing that the urban centers can get from the t Trump tax package. Uh, the impacts of this are dramatic. I predict that you'll see more infusion of uh, dollars from, uh, from liquidating events of stocks or real estate with capital gains issues into urban centers. I think that Newark, Patterson, Camden will be direct beneficiaries. I'm so excited to hear what's being said today and to have the partnership of Governor Murphy with our federal guy, Cory Booker, who's writing the regulations which are going to control how this is all defined. I think today is a great day for New Jersey and it shows that we're moving the state forward. Thank you, Frank. It's an honor. Thank you, Steve. We're here with our uh, good friend Linda Bowden from PNC. We're we just listened to Governor uh, Murphy and United States Senator Cory Booker, Opportunity Zone Projects. The connection to the banking community, what does it mean? Oh, well, I'll tell you, we're, we're, New Jersey um, is an enormous uh, opportunity for us. And the better our neighbors do, the better our communities do, all boats rise, including our banking industry. We can, as people go back to work, as people make money, as people support their families, as people reinvest in the community, they need a place to save. They need someone to help them with their financial planning. They need to ensure that they're saving for their children. And so we would love to be a part of that solution. This is a big deal. I mean, there are a lot of economic development initiatives talked about in terms of urban communities. This feels different? It does, because I've never seen this kind of financial incentive. I think it's, it's very exciting. And what I particularly like about this is any investor can participate. This is not something lofty that only a very select few can participate in. Anyone can participate in this. Everyone in New Jersey can be part of the solution here. Mayor, uh, we just listened to Senator Booker and Governor Murphy talk about these opportunity zones. Now, your community, Bridgeton, right? Yes, Bridgeton, South, South Jersey. Now, we're in Newark. We've heard about your community. You've actually been on with us before. What could these initiatives, these Opportunity Zone initiatives mean in a community like yours? A city like Bridgeton, which we are one of the smaller urban areas, and so the Opportunity Zones can make a great impact. We are trying to build on our food industry because we're a city surrounded by farms and our investments are in food and dairy. And so this could be a game changer for our community. So, so. So say uh, an investor, potential investor says, I'd like to go to Bridgeton, but you're saying these Opportunity Zone tax incentives, particularly on the capital gains side, make a big difference. Yes, it would make a big difference. Uh, small towns like Bridgeton are often overlooked, especially in South New Jersey, also in South Jersey, between Atlantic City and Camden. So this was one weapon that we can share, we can use to attract businesses and see that they can make money 
in cities like Bridgeton. Thanks, Mayor. Thank you very much. The leaders in the business community are, in fact, here at this Choose New Jersey event. Uh, we just listened to Senator Booker, Governor Murphy talk about um, these Opportunity Zone projects. Michelle Sekirka, I'll get to Tom Brack in a second. What could it really mean? Well, what it means is creating a great opportunity for investment at the local level. I mean, we do know there's capital gains money sitting on the sidelines. So this is a great opportunity for investors to give back into their own communities. And we know there's folks out there that want to do that. We see impact investing all the time. And Tom, you not only know the business community, you know the banking community in particular from your past experience. Big impact? What kind of impact? It could have a big impact. I mean, if we can uh, package this with some other things in the state and uh, provide this great tax benefit to investors because of where we are location-wise, it could have a huge impact. But there's got to be other pieces in place, Steve, to make this work effectively. Like, Well, the, the competitive issue we have, the affordability issue, if we can work on some of those things and combine it with this, then we have something that I think we can compete very effectively around the country. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Michelle. State of Affairs with Steve Adubato is a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. State of Affairs with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Agnes Veris NJTV studio at 2 Gateway. Funding has been provided by the Turrell Fund, supporting right from the start NJ, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, New Jersey Sharing Network, Holy Name Medical Center in Teaneck, New Jersey, New Jersey Resources, Keystone Mountain Lakes Regional Council of Carpenters, and by Guarini Institute for Government and Leadership at St. Peter's University.